again my fellow studies how are you all doing thank you for tuning into today's podcast and i hope that all of you are having a fantastic day so the independent has now wrote an article saying that the uk needs to find a way to do a reverse mexit that is the harry and megan exit all this is just a complete joke well i know what you all think but for me this is just a complete joke the uk media are now saying that they're not getting any money by speaking about the other royals even though they see them each and every single day and they know that without seeing harry and megan because they're so far away and no leaks are coming from montecito and everything that they're making up all the stories that they keep making up about harry and megan people know that all that is false so now they're trying to uh, make megan and harry come back or trying to find a way to for harry and megan to come back to the uk so that they can have something something to write about harry and megan to generate them some income well have they forgotten everything that they put harry and megan through have they forgotten all the articles that they ran that was so racist against megan when megan was still in the uk have they forgotten how they abused megan and her children have they forgotten all that that they now claim that there needs to be a reverse mexit do they think that harry and megan are ever going to come back to the uk that doesn't make sense at all after everything that harry and megan have been put through i think that no person in their right mind would ever come back to the uk the only thing that these people actually care about is to make money from harry and megan they don't care about harry and megan's well-being at all so we know that the duchess of sussex won a grassy award last night for her massively successful archetypes podcast megan did not appear in person and i don't know if anyone expected her to appear she was named the best podcast host and the award was announced in march and megan made a statement about it at that time and because megan did not go to the award show the obvious critics are suggesting that she didn't want to go outside because of the pub chairs and security issues last week in new york and i really don't think that she was ever scheduled to appear in person if megan wanted to appear at that award show i think that she would have and the fact that she did not appear at the award show that means that she wasn't scheduled to appear and speaking about security and megan's popularity one commentator has an opinion on how megan and harry need to be invited to come back to the uk and this person is sean o'grandy and he wrote that in the independent saying that memory of what happened to his mother haunts him and diana's fate should haunt us all she voluntarily gave up her bodyguards because she thought she was being spied on and as we found out the private security she was given by mohammed al faid wasn't adequate for the task do we really want that to be repeated with harry and megan when they visit britain yes that is the point that we were stating yesterday about uh, the court or the royal family are not allowing prince harry to pay for his own security after everything that happened to his own mother which we all know is still traumatizing for prince harry so this person goes ahead to say that so it seems a very foolish decision by the government and the police to single harry and megan out and leave them open to violent attack and intrusion it would potentially mean that they and their family will come to the uk even less often which would obviously place some spiteful people who despite having never met either of them have worked themselves up into a state of visceral loathing is the media now trying to pretend as though they did not stir up all this hatred that is now directed towards harry and meghan because they did that they together with the royal family uh, spread this hatred against harry and meghan by the royal family leaking stories about harry and meghan and then the media or by all their articles and everything that they say on a daily basis up to today about harry and meghan are the ones which are, are leading to a pile of hatred that is now directed towards harry and meghan they have no one else to blame for that 
and now they're saying that uh, the people who don't know Harry and Meghan are hating on them. Well, that's all because of what the media has been spreading. That's all because of their propaganda. I doubt that if the media wrote uh, positive things about Harry and Meghan, people will hate on them. It says that, to my mind, this is doubtly retrograde because it naturally means every less chance of the historic reproachment that is so urgently needed to heal the house of Windsor. The royal family needs Harry and Meghan for the very same reasons it did when the Sussexes got married at that warm summer day in Windsor in 2018. Well, I just can't see any of these much more than a joke. The royal family for sure need Harry and Meghan back because Harry and Meghan are more popular within the younger generations compared to the other members of the royal family. But I don't think that the royal family actually want Harry and Meghan back into uh, the UK because if Harry and Meghan actually come back to the UK, there's going to be more popularity uh, for Harry and Meghan, more attention is going to be directed on Harry and Meghan and that is the one thing that the royal family didn't want. They probably might need only Harry back into the UK and not Meghan. If Meghan comes back to the UK, we all know that all the attention is going to be directed towards Meghan. And that is going to make the royal family very jealous because that is the one thing that the royal family didn't want. They don't want attention to be taken away from them. And it's very clear that the media is the one which needs Harry and Meghan back into the UK because they no longer sell their papers their papers are no longer selling as they used to because harry and Meghan are so far away and there are no leaks coming from montecito and these other royals the the media barely covers them or if they even cover them they don't bring them as much money as harry and Meghan do so the only thing that they want right now is for harry and Meghan to come back to the uk and this like was it really only a few years ago they were fabulously popular so much has happened since then and none of it particularly good for any of those concerned the rift continues to gnaw away at the institution and harry's habit of spilling the beans is beginning to make him look obsessive well i think this is actually a joke because harry the only thing that harry is doing is protecting his family the only thing that Harry has been doing is protecting his family and everything inclusive, it's all to protect his family. None of it. Harry is not obsessive with spilling the beans. The only thing that we can say Harry is obsessed with is making sure that his family is protected and all of them are safe. And he says that it's harming his own standing and that of his wife which used to be so high. Well, it used to be so high until the media brought it down, right? They are the ones who are to blame for everything that is happening to Harry and Meghan. And you see, the solution that this person gives is that, yet despite everything, the obvious solution to the problems of both uh, factions of the family is for Harry and Meghan to return to working royal status in some capacity. Well, why would Harry and Meghan return to being working royals after all the abuse, after all these terrible things have been written about them? Well, it doesn't make any sense at all. And everything that this person is actually saying, you can only see that the, their only intention is to make money out of Harry and Meghan. I don't think that they genuinely want Harry and Meghan to come back to the UK so that they can fix their relationships with the other members of the royal family. I don't think that they actually care about that. The only thing that the media is concerned about is to make money out of Harry and Meghan. And he says that with the right set of duties and with the automatic police, police and military protection they'd be entitled to, the Sussexes could be once again be a valuable asset for an institution that as we found at the time of the coronation is not popular enough with the young the royal family know that very well they know that they're not popular anymore with the young with harry and Meghan moving away they went away with the popularity among the young people so it's very evident that the the royal family might need harry and Meghan back but 
I don't think Harry and Meghan are ever going to come back to the UK just because they'll be used to uh, draw people or draw more popularity to the UK. Because everything that Harry and Meghan have gone through, I don't think that it's actually reasonable for them to ever come back to the UK just because uh, of this monarchy or make people love the monarchy. It's so unreasonable. And he finishes by saying that, in other words, rather like Brexit, we need to reverse Mexit in the national interest. It feels like a fallen hope, but it really is the only way that they can all secure a better future for the institution they all have a vested interest in. The House of Windsor needed a need not be divided against itself. Well, I think this person is, is actually crazy for suggesting that they need Harry and Meghan just because uh, they need them to secure the institution. What about the lives of Harry and Meghan? What about everything that the institution has done to Harry and Meghan? Does that not count? Is that not a reason for Harry and Meghan not to come back to the UK and act as working members of the royal family? Well, I think that it actually does. And Harry and Meghan are living a happy life. They're now thriving. Everything is working for them. So they don't need that life that they had in that institution. All that was just full of abuse. And Kaiser finishes by saying that, Personally, I love when commentators try in vain to tell the company line that Harry and Meghan are doing reputational, are doing reputational damage to themselves by revealing how the institution abused them and ignored not their pain. Then, then, in the same breath, the commentators are like, and we need them back because they're so popular. Give it one more year and the rotor will suddenly claim to have invested half in solution for the Sussexes to, to come back. While the Sussexes are not coming back, their eviction from Frogmore Cottage was the final nail in that particular coffin. It is interesting that even these kinds of people are like, wait, but Harry should have, should have security when he visits. You mean he's not going to visit anymore? Well, it's all just because they want to uh, cash in when it, when it comes to Harry and Meghan. And they only need Harry and Meghan back in the UK because they want to cash in on them. None of these people care about Harry and Meghan. May it be the royal family or the media. None of these people care about them. It's only about the money that they'll make from them if Harry and Meghan go back to the UK. So I'd love to know your opinion concerning what uh, this person was saying because to me it just seems as though it's a complete joke. Harry and Meghan should never go back to the UK because with everything that King Charles has laid bare, uh, taking Frogmore Cottage away from them, and now Prince Harry is being denied uh, to pay for his own security while he is in the UK, all these are just signs that they are not needed anymore in the UK. So what's your opinion concerning all these? I'd love to know uh, what your thoughts are, and I'll see you all squaddies on the next podcast. Goodbye.